We are feeling awesome today in New England. It's gonna be, they're saying 69 degrees in March. Oh, that is just so awesome. Today, what we're working on is, well, it's actually a seat we did for a motorcycle a long time ago. So one thing that happens a lot is, you know, we change our riding style. We get bigger, smaller, thinner, fatter, taller. Well, we don't really get taller, but anyway, we do change. So years ago with the big bike craze, building crazy bikes, it was all about the look, which I love, but now we're getting older and we actually still want to be able to ride our bikes and there's nothing worse than getting on your bike, taking a 20 minute ride and being sore. Today, I keep looking at the seat as I'm supposed to look at the camera, but today, you can see I already started to put a little rebon foam in there to give it a little kick. On this chopper, the seat sits about like this. So when you crack the throttle, you just want to go right off the back. We're going to do a little bit of a drag seat here. We are going to refoam it, add some nice foam on here so it's a lot more comfortable and not even just comfortable for the foam, but comfortable for the seating positioning of the riders. Let's get started. I went and patterned this seat out already. I didn't do a video of it because it's not really an intricate seat. The, one of the reasons why I really used to like doing solo seats years ago was because patterning and foaming goes fairly quick and then you can spend more time doing some creative stuff like artwork or design. So it's kind of like fun right now to be able to do this seat over again and actually cool, cool patterns. I printed off a picture of the motorcycle but I like to see what we're dealing with. I don't know if you can see that. Well, actually you already saw it because I have. Uh, so there's a the bike. What I end up doing is I just trace my pattern, put it onto a piece of paper, and we're gonna draw out some flames. I'm, because of the picture, the bike, you can't really see it here, but it actually has kind of like a pearl going through it. So I'm gonna use two shades of green for the thread and do like an overlapping flame pattern and do something a little more intricate than the original seat had on it. So I'm gonna get to drawing and then I'll show you that. So for me, drawing flames and artwork, it's kind of um, it's pretty cool. It's fun to do. I like to make sure that you have certain tips, certain lengths. You know, you'll see I'll draw it and I'll change it a lot, but there's a lot of factors that go into painting these, or painting, I'll be right, and sewing, but to, to actually making the flames on a seat or even when you paint a bike or whatever, because if you're just doing a single stitch like this and you just put like this here and then we mirror image it and do it over here, it's gonna look kind of boring. Now, if I did this one really intricate, when I go to do the second color on here, it'll probably get so busy and overpower it. So I'm gonna finish this flame off. I'm gonna do one more flame intertwining with this, which is gonna be our secondary color. And then I'm gonna transfer it to the other side and I'll show you that. Thinking that this is gonna be the design, um, he wanted his initials in the seat and we we're gonna do embroidery, but I remember one of my customers like forever ago told me he didn't like embroidery because it doesn't look handmade and he wants something custom to be custom made. So kind of incorporated the flame into his M um, and the P and the D and the, the D there's really no way to really do a cool flame thing through. So we're just got the flames actually going through it. So I'm gonna transfer this over to the vinyl so we get ready to sew it. Now this is pretty close to being ready. I'm gonna put it on sew foam and then start stitching it up. 